Whenever we talk about dropshipping, there's always one question that spans across every single platform, specifically with every single supplier. And that is, do they ship in their packaging? What do I do if I source my products from Amazon, but it arrives in an Amazon package? What if I source my products from somewhere like, let's say Wayfair, and it arrives in a huge Wayfair box? What's my customer gonna say? How can I get around this? Well, those questions and more will be answered in today's video because today we're covering blind drop shipping. So if that's something that interests you, if you've been wondering what you can do in order to avoid having your customers complain to you about the packaging that their products come in or about where you're sourcing your products from, then make sure you check out this video all the way through because today we're answering all of your questions. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we get started, let's clear up exactly what is blind dropshipping. So blind dropshipping really is simply put just dropshipping. It's its own fulfillment business model where you're going to be sourcing your products directly from your supplier whenever somebody places an order in your store. So somebody's going to come to your store. They're going to place an order for a pair of shoes. You're going to reach out to your supplier, place an order with them. They're going to fulfill the order and send it directly to your customer. You never have to touch any inventory. And all you have to do really is focus on product research and really just kicking back and collecting the profits. So with that being said, one of the key features about blind dropshipping is anonymity. So making sure that your suppliers are anonymous. A lot of the times you don't wanna run the risk of your customers finding out where you source your products from, essentially bypassing you and purchasing the item from the supplier directly. I'm anonymous! I'm anonymous! Now, when it comes to this, there's a few different things that you need to take into consideration. So for one, it's going to be the packaging. But aside from that, it's also going to be the BOL or the bill of landing, or simply put the invoice that's included inside the packaging that a lot of the times is going to show where the product came from, along with the prices that you paid for it. But there's a lot of ways to be able to get this to be blank. So essentially with blind dropshipping, one of our main goals is going to be to make sure that that invoice or that bill of landing is blank and all of your seller's information is completely omitted along with the prices that you paid for them. And this is actually not that hard to do. Most of the times, whenever you source your product from let's say AliExpress, it's gonna come with a blank invoice. These are websites that are dedicated to drop shippers and they know that people that purchase from here are drop shippers. So most of the time they're not gonna include their information on the invoice or sometimes even an invoice at all. And as far as the packaging, Forget about that. That most of the time is always also going to come in a gray bag or just a very basic package. Now, with that being said, that's not with every supplier. There's going to be some suppliers that you work with, like let's say Amazon, that are going to ship their packages with their logo on it. Now, what are some of the difference between regular drop shipping and blind drop shipping? Well, for one, obviously the information that's shown on the bill or the packaging. With traditional drop shipping, with your regular form of drop shipping, if you're sourcing your products from literally anywhere, then a lot of the times some people don't really worry about that. So they'll just ship their products from wherever it is and they're not gonna care whether or not their customers see how much they paid for it or where it came from. Whereas with blind drop shipping, like I said earlier, everything is omitted. The whole point of blind drop shipping is to completely conceal your supplier. Another huge benefit to blind drop shipping is you get to focus on your brand. You get to really start to brand your products. You get to brand your packaging. And overall, you get to start to build your brand from the ground up. With blind drop shipping, if you have somebody else's logo on your packaging, then people aren't gonna necessarily trust you as much because you're sourcing your products from somewhere else. Even though that's what we're technically doing, our customers don't have to know that. Typically, they're gonna be thinking that we're the ones that are shipping it. That's why a lot of the times people don't want their packaging to come in a different type of packaging or with the name of another company. Blind dropshipping can really help us start to build our brand and ultimately build trust and returning buyers. Now, if you wanna take it a step up, then you can actually brand your own packaging. So in that case, you wanna start looking into either white label or private label dropshipping. Aside from that though, another option you have is through AutoDS. Now with AutoDS, we have some private suppliers that work exclusively with us. For one, we get some special pricing and two, we get the ability to brand some of our products. So if you've been thinking about joining AutoDS, but you're not entirely sure yet, or if you've been wondering about it and you're just trying to test the waters, then you can get started with us right now for just $1 for the next two weeks. Now, once you're all signed up, you have your store connected and you have everything ready to go, then you're gonna get access to a massive list of dropshipping products, some of which you have the option to brand. So once we're signed in, we just need to go to the marketplace, 
And up here in the supplier, we need to switch it over to the AutoDS suppliers. These are all the AutoDS private suppliers that we work with. Now from here, what you wanna do is you can go ahead and choose your niche, or you can just scroll through the different products and see what's available. Now, what you're gonna be looking for is this right here, customizable branding. Once you click on the item itself, and typically here on the side, you're actually gonna have a little box that's gonna ask you to upload your logo. In this case, it's not asking me to do that because I already did that but you're going to be able to upload your logo and that logo is going to appear on for one the invoice and two it's also going to appear on a custom thank you card that gets shipped with your product that in itself can really start to bring in more trust between you and your customers because it just makes the entire experience and the entire sale just a lot more personal things as simple as a small thank you card with your logo on it it, it really goes a long way, especially with customers that aren't too sure about who's shipping their products. A lot of the times they think that it's coming from some huge company, but when they see that thank you card, they're going to feel a bit more personal. It's going to feel like it's more of a small business. Now, another added benefit to this is the fact that you can automate your entire dropshipping store from importing all of your different products in just a few clicks to fulfilling orders in just a matter of seconds. Now, let's say this massage gun right here. I want to add it to my store. Typically, what are you going to do? You're gonna go ahead and start taking the title, copy it. You're gonna go ahead and paste it into your store. Same thing with the description, copy, images, save images. Do that for all of the different ones. You have to check out all of the different varieties. Make sure you got all the colors, the plug types, set up your shipping, everything. And while it doesn't seem like that much, which realistically speaking for just one or two products, it's not that bad. But when you really wanna to start to scale, or if you wanna even just add maybe 10 different products to your store, this can get extremely time consuming. Now imagine doing that 10 times over when all you really have to do with AutoDS is just go over here, import draft, and you're done. That's all there is to it. Now the only thing that you need to do from here is optimize the title, optimize the description, and get all of that stuff done to your preference. But if you don't want to do that, if you want to just upload it exactly as is, then you can do that as well. We just need to go over to the draft section over here. And from here, we can either make it go live by clicking on import, or we can click to edit and edit everything else that we need, including, like I said, the title, the description, all of the different variations, our profit percentage. We can base that either based off of how much our fee is going to be in a dollar amount or a percentage amount. Same thing with the profits. We can base it off of our profits on a percentage or a dollar amount or simply a sell price. Now, it's not always going to be the case, but every once in a while, depending on the supplier that you're working with, if you want to do blind drop shipping, if you want to make sure that your packages are shipped blank along with a blank bill of landing or a blank invoice, sometimes, depending on that supplier again, it might cost a couple bucks extra. But again, it's not always going to be the case. Most of the time, it's not going to be the case. But just keep that in mind just in case it ever happens. Now, when you start to think about it, blind dropshipping can actually pose a problem. And that's going to be specifically with your returns. So where is your customer going to return the product to if they don't know where to return it to or you just don't want them to return it to your supplier's warehouse directly? Well, in this case, this is when things can get a little bit tricky, but there is a pretty simple solution. Honestly, one of the easiest things to do is simply just, just mail it to your house or to your own address. So have your customers ship it out and have them ship it to your address. Now, I understand that a lot of people don't want to give out their address, and I completely understand as a small business owner, I don't want my address out there, not my personal address at least, in which case you can get a virtual address. I actually have a virtual address and these things are fantastic because everything goes into my virtual mailbox. It's typically a store that you just go to and pick up your packages and everything is sent to there. So I just go and pick everything up there and I do what I need to do, either return it to my suppliers or keep whatever I need to keep. Now, when it comes to this, you have the option to open up your own PO box, but PO boxes a lot of times can get restricting, especially if certain people or certain companies don't allow shipping to PO boxes. And this is a pretty common occurrence. So in this case, what you can do is what I do. You can sign up for a service like iPostal One. On here, you can actually sign up for your own mailbox and those packages are gonna go to an actual store. So there's not really gonna be any restrictions. Now, iPostal One has offices or package pickup locations pretty much all over the US, and I'm pretty sure I've seen some in the UK as well. So as a quick tip, check out iPostal One. It might help you a lot. Now, the other option is going to be to actually give your supplier's address. Now, when you give your supplier's address, a lot of the times they're not going to know that you're sourcing your product from somebody else. 
a lot of the times they're going to think that you're giving them your own address or the address to your warehouse or your factory. Honestly, this would be the most streamlined way to do it simply because you're going to cut out the middleman, which it's going to be you. If you have the item shipped to you or to your mailbox, what's going to happen is that's going to create a longer return window. So the package is going to have to go from your customer to you and then from you to your supplier. And hopefully that doesn't affect the shipping policy for your supplier. Because that's going to add a few extra days, you don't want that to go over the amount of time that the supplier gives you to actually accept that return. If that is the case, though, then more likely than not, what's going to happen is you're just going to have to take the hit, take that return and replace your customer's item or simply just keep it yourself. Now, is blind dropshipping profitable? Is it something that is actually worth doing? Yeah, of course it is. Just like regular dropshipping, it's totally profitable as long as you do it the right way and as long as you're selling the right products. Now, with blind dropshipping, there's a few extra added benefits that you can take into consideration. For one, you're going to have more customer loyalty because your customers aren't going to know where you're getting your products from. They're going to keep going back to you to get them. Aside from that, you can also protect yourself against competition. Simply put, a lot of the times, some people that order your items can potentially be dropshippers themselves that are just trying to check out the item's quality and see how everything is. They might be spying on the competition, which in this case would be you. So by concealing your supplier's information, then your customers or your potential competitors aren't gonna get the information that they need or that they want. All right, the part that you've all been waiting for. How do you get started with actually blind dropshipping and making sure that your packages are blank and your customers don't know where you're getting your products from? So there's a few things that we're gonna talk about right now. For one, let's talk about the people that actually get a branded package. Look, 99% of the time, they're not gonna care. A lot of times, as long as they get their product in a timely manner, they're gonna be happy with it. That's happened to me. I've ordered products from eBay all the time and I've received Amazon packages. I look at it and I'm like, why is this in an Amazon package? This was before I started dropshipping. I looked at it and I thought, why is this in an Amazon package? Oh, well, I opened it. I got my product. I was good. And that's me. Somebody that's always looking for a cheaper deal. It's always looking at Amazon for something cheaper and always looking around online to see what the best possible deal I can get is. Now, obviously, that's not the people that we're targeting. We're targeting people that are compulsive shoppers that just want something like that. They see something, they need it, they buy it. I'm buying. So I'm just telling you from personal experience, it's happened to me before, before I even knew about dropshipping and I was perfectly fine. I've had customers where I've sent packages to with branded boxes and there's never been a problem. Of course, there is going to be that small percentage of people that are going to have an issue with it. But honestly, look at it this way. If you're sourcing your products from Amazon, the one thing that I always do is I tell them, I appreciate you buying from my store. Our logistics runs through Amazon. Our products are fulfilled through Amazon. We keep all of our products in Amazon. They fulfill all of our orders and makes everything a lot easier, a lot more streamlined. And ultimately, it's a better experience for our customers such as yourself. Now, what about the pricing? Because Amazon includes pricing on there. Well, that's easy too. just include a gift message. When you include a gift message, you completely get rid of the pricing on there. In that gift message, you can customize what you want too. So it doesn't have to say, here's a birthday present. It can say, thank you for your purchase from X store. We hope to see you again. Thank you so much for your purchase. If you have any issues, please contact us at this email. But that's with Amazon. If you're working with other suppliers, then there's a few other things that you can do. For one, get in touch with them. Send them an email, see what they have to offer, see if they provide blind drop shipping and if they provide it at the same rate or if they have an extra expense added to that. Be upfront with your suppliers because honestly, they're not going to care whether you're a drop shipper or whether you're purchasing things for yourself. As long as they're getting the sales, they're not going to care. So be upfront with them, tell them what you're doing and try to work with them. Build that relationships so that way later on, things are just a lot easier and more streamlined for you. Now, next, once you actually build that relationship with them and you start working with them, always make sure you follow their rules and you follow their guidelines. They might have certain things that they need you to do. They might need you to place your orders with, I don't know, a certain PO number or something that distinguishes you. Always make sure you pay attention to that and you do what you need to, because if you don't, you might potentially slip up and your supplier is not going to know this. So they'll potentially ship out a product with some sort of branding. Now, this isn't always the case but just be wary of it. Another thing you can do is take advantage of the order notes. So whenever you go place an order, whether that be on AliExpress or almost any other suppliers, sometimes there's going to be a little text box where you can add a note in it. You can write, I'm drop shipping this product. Please make sure to omit your details or just the invoice altogether. Please ship in a blank box. 
Now, also, you need to make sure that this note is for internal use, not a note that's going to be included in your packaging sent to your customer. Because if you do that, then that's just going to make things a lot worse. <laughs> now, overall, from everything I just told you, honestly, the biggest takeaway is to just be clear with everything. Make sure you lay everything out clearly for your suppliers, because sometimes communication might be a bit of an issue. So be upfront with them, be clear with them, lay it out all flat on the table for them. So that way you can get business done the right way. So what are your thoughts on blind dropshipping? Is it something that you utilize? Do you care about how your products are shipped? Do you care if they ship in a big old Amazon box? Do you include your pricing in there? What do you do about your invoices? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this and your process behind it. Also, let me know if you found this video informational. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, it truly means a lot. If you made it this far, that means you enjoyed this video. So make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you once again to everyone for watching. My name is Mario with AutoDS. I'll catch you guys next time.